Hey Scorpio, welcome to my channel my loves. I hope you guys are doing amazing. We're going to go ahead and start with your spiritual messages, okay? Welcome everyone. Make sure you hit the like button, please, and subscribe to the channel if this is something that resonates with you. Let's go ahead and get started. One angel, Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for your beautiful Scorpio collective? guys so what i do believe and I, what, what i do see is you definitely have the ascended uh, masters here with you we have three 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 so if you guys are seeing three 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 you are definitely protected and um watched over by the ascended masters okay um and you're fully protected and it's time to make your decisions channel and speak your souls true okay that's what i feel now I do see that some of you guys could be interacting in perfect synchronicity with the, the universe by increasing your awareness to the practice of new knowledge. So if you're seeing 333, you're seeing 777, just, just know that the angels are letting you know that you are in the right path and that you're practicing increasing your awareness and your knowledge um, um, how you say, through your crown chakra, okay? You guys are getting more of uh, downloads and light codes and um, synchronicity, science and wonders and channeling, okay? You, you guys are learning how to channel as well. So you guys got your third eye. You guys are very open spiritually and your intuition is very, very high. There's a lot of things that has been revealing to you, things that has been mysteries. You guys have been enlightened about other things and you got the power of conscious mind. The universe is always with you. The universe is always going to be uh, protecting you no matter what. You are the child of the universe. So the universe gives you whatever you desire, okay? I'm here and get another one. Um, I do see that you have wishing on the stars. Something is about to come in for fruition for you. You've been wishing for this. This could be a male or female. Um, this could be male or female. Yeah, it could be male or female. But you've been wishing on something to come in. This could be whatever you desire. It could be a job, a job opportunity, a uh, uh, music industry, a love, someone that loves you, someone that wants to be with you, or someone that you manifested. Like a wish is coming true, okay? Whatever that is for you, everybody's different, all right? I do see that somebody's waiting for you. To, uh, they're waiting for that perfect moment when you will be back in their arms again. Somebody's thinking about you very heavily, and they want your affection, okay? Somebody wants to hold you tight in their arms and caress you. So somebody's really, really yearning for you. Somebody's wishing for you. Somebody wish they could see you, all right? Somebody wish they can hold you and, um, and caress you, okay? That's what I feel. Somebody really wants you, okay? They're feeling lost right now, and they're waiting on the one, which is you, Scorpio. Okay, somebody's being enlightened about this connection of the situation. Somebody's waiting for you to come back, okay? They're feeling lost without you. So it's like without you, they feel like they have no sense of direction. It's like you brighten up this person's life, okay, because of the, who you are. Um, but they're thinking about you, Scorpio, and they really love you, okay? They have true love is the master, of the world and eventually it will conquer everything so somebody really truly loves you and they're thinking about you okay what else we have here angels i'm not making this video too long guys okay oh wow so Definitely intense feelings, okay? Somebody has intense feelings and excited, and it's very uncontrollable right now. 
um someone really is wishing for you scorpio somebody really is is, is feeling so excited and they have this uncontrollable um controllable uh, urges to be with you okay <clears throat> this person feels like you are favored by the universe take advantage of favorable conditions to achieve your goals yeah somebody feels like you are favored the universe definitely favors you doesn't favor you because you they, they it favors you because you are the child of, of the cosmos okay let's see what's going on with this thinking of you. earth okay so at this very moment i feel like this person is yawning for you in the 3d peace luck the starting point of the journey i feel like this person wants to start a journey with you they're trying to get the confidence um to come towards you lord this is like <laughs> what a spiritual message huh oh love huh um so somebody is on earth right now okay and they having this uh yearning they they are wanting to be with you they're thinking about you they have the com they want to have the confidence but remember not all stars shines believe in your own strength so this person has to get the strength and the motivation and the confidence to start this journey with you what is the high priestess passion okay so yeah someone has passion for the high priestess which is you scorpio collective maintain your your enthusiasm for things um to come for fruition because i feel like you're very passionate for what you do whatever it is that you work on whatever um spiritual gifts that you have my loves all right i feel like you're very passionate about it okay i know that there's challenges out there that they're trying to challenge you but you're brave enough to accept all the challenges whether it's bad whether it's good you don't care you're still gonna win no matter what because true love conquers all and eventually and eventually it will conquer everything so love is always going to conquer everything what is the 777 angels cooperate with the universe good partner important cooperation so i do see that you guys are cooperating with the universe again you guys are interacting in perfect synchronicity with the universe and that's why you guys are cooperating in the situation okay um i feel like i feel like somebody's feeling torment in their life somebody's definitely enduring some type of uh suffering here maybe that's the reason why this person feels intense for you they're suffering because they want you they yearning for you what is this wanting affection but you feel like if they haven't voiced it they haven't told you they haven't texted you. They haven't called you. They haven't talked to you about it. You don't know about it because you don't read minds. That's what you're saying, Scorpio. You're a gemstone, baby. Maybe this person is starting to feel that you are a gemstone. You're perfect. You're perfect pressure and a beautiful thing. You are a beautiful thing. You are a gemstone. And this person started to see that. And that's why they want your affection. What's the universe? Cradle. the universe is always going to feel like they have to cradle you because you're the child of the cosmos okay um and you are definitely a star a star cradle so the the, the oh god the universe is always going to cradle you like a baby because you are their baby mm -hmm. you are the child of the cosmos of the universe so they're going to cradle you like a baby because that's who you are you know you growing up you never really had experienced any love you never experienced any, um, people never forgave you, you know what I'm saying? People never um, loved you, they rejected you, and um, you never really experienced anyone to really be there for you. you. People always left you and neglect you, right? So it's like the universe is always there to step in and create you and love you, especially the Holy Spirit, right? Holy Spirit comes up to you and show you love. So it's like you always feel alone in the physical reality, but in the spiritual reality, you always feel safe, okay? Yeah, I do see somebody feels empty right now without you. Keep your goals firm, feel the emptiness. Somebody feels very emptiness, and they want to merge together. Like, they want to amend this connection or this relationship with you, Scorpio. Love conquers all. And I feel like this person, whoever this person is that's yearning for you, they have an intense connection, passion, and they want to cooperate with you. 
my stomach <laughs> the gemstone they want to cooperate with you because now they're feeling like this this excitement you know they, it's very uncontrollable they understand that true love is the master and it will conquer everything so if this person didn't have any love in their life or they didn't love for you and they didn't have no emotions or feelings they're going to start showing it okay all right they're gonna start showing it because they can't take it anymore <sighs> It's too intense for them. You are their wish. They wishing and hoping for you. High priestess. All right. All right. Let's let's jump into this. It's only ten minutes. Okay. That's okay. Actually, let's get into this. What messages do you have for my beautiful Scorpio Collective? Message to Scorpio. Okay. What messages? Message. You know what I'm looking at? Light blue, sky blue is going to be very significant this week. Something about blue. Okay. Seven chakra. What? What else? What else, angels? Oh, okay, season reverse, so I'm just gonna go take it how it oh yes. All right, Scorpio. Definitely this is your energy, okay? So definitely um you have Archangel Raphael that's definitely healing something in your life, okay? This could be your heart chakra as well. Maybe you guys got heart a broken heart. Maybe somebody hurt you, somebody just put pain in your heart, and you're just like, okay, I'm just going to heal from it. You could be 38 years old, or you're about to be 38 years old. Some of you guys could be 33, 39, 41. Um, and I just feel like right now, Raphael is on your side trying to heal things from you um, and healing, restoring your, your relationship, but also restoring your life, okay? You're about to receive a message in the bottle. So you're about to receive some type of news, some type of message, some type of email here about a new life. Now, this new life is going to be excited for you. It's going to be um, um, something that you are not expecting. Okay, this is unexpected. So you're about to receive some type of good news. All right. I feel like Archangel Michael Raphael is going to be healing everything that you have in your life. This is going to be a restoration of a renewal in your life i'm hearing okay you do have the devil in reverse okay so the devil tried to steal something from you and he can't no more because uh well you defeated him okay so i feel like the devil was trying to take something from you steal something from you but now you have the but you have seven chakra archangel uriel we have archangel Raphael. And you have Archangel Uriel. Archangel Uriel is the crown chakra, the seventh chakra. But she's also the abundance angel. <laughs> she's the abundance angel. Okay, so the abundance angel is here showing up in your reading. You're about to have a new life. You're about to get a message from an email, text message about a treasure. Some money, some inheritance, some type of disability, some type of um, settlement. Um, something is coming for you. Some some of you guys are definitely going to get some money. All right. Some some type of money here. And it's going to be a lot that you're going to be able to start a new life here, Scorpio. Okay. Wow. Blue is very significant. So I don't know if this is going to be like in, in the daytime that you're going to receive this. Hmm. When the skies are blue. When the skies are blue. I don't hear that song. Um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like the crown chakra, Archangel Uriel, she's bringing you this abundance because she's under the treasure island. She's the abundance angel. Okay, Archangel Raphael is de deceiving. Oh, um, the devil reverse. So you're about to get this message of a new life. Wow, this is beautiful, Scorps. I love it. My cards fell. Sorry, guys. Okay. 
right, let's get into this since it's cause already fell. So some of you guys are expecting good news, some type of message coming in about an abundance, about some type of treasure here. That's gonna change your life, Scorpio, okay? Okay, what's going on with your person here, angels? The person that's connecting to Scorpio Collective. What's going on? Okay, I want it to come out. I want you guys to give it to me. What's the message? Friends. not your energy scorpio <laughs> this is definitely not your energy scorpio oh somebody's going through a lot your person is going through a lot a lot of change third party true the grass wasn't green on the other side they follow in the intuition about relationship a faded relationship or faded meeting okay hmm Something about a friend. It could be a group of people that this person could be hanging with. I feel like a person is single right now or they're about to be single from a third party. They're trying to like get themselves from a third party or a love relationship. There's definitely some type of breakup here, okay? Divine intervention is breaking this up or definitely some type of catalyst or some type of karma that this person is receiving. Definitely going through some legal matters. This could be going through a divorce, some type of judgment here. Um, and your person could be going through some stress and depression or something like that, okay? They could be going through some depression or something. But this person could be going to be single or they could have been with a third party that there was interfering, cheating, competition, could have been a mistress or you could be the third party Scorpio, I don't know, okay? So who is this friend? Actually, I don't even know why that friend came out. It could be friends that this person is confiding in or talking to. They trust in them, trying to get a support from them. Somebody is single here, alone, lonely. Who is the single person, angels? Who is the single person? Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Thank you, angels. Yeah, somebody's letting go of someone that we're holding on too tight. Yeah, see the world. Something is ending in this person's life. This is a a, a chapter that they are closing out in their life. Maybe this person um don't want to be in a third party situation. Okay, we got the five of ones. So definitely there was competition in your life, Scorpio. Or if you was dealing with this person, this person had another. They had multiple people. They had group of friends that they were uh, confiding in, but now they realize that they are cheap. They, they're liars, they are, um, they're not loyal, okay, they talk behind their back, everybody else um, turned this person, uh, they turned their back on this person, and um, I feel, so this person, I had a phone call, so this person, yeah, the competition is done, they like, people's turning their back on this person, um, I also feel like three of sword, this person is trying to heal themselves from a, a broken heart, right, or somebody that they were dealing with a third party situation, I do see that this person is looking into the future. They are waiting for the ships to come in. Um, they are waiting for something to come in and have this happy outcome with them, okay? But I feel like they're letting go of a third party or someone that they were married to or legally connected to, all right? But I feel like this group of friends that they were dealing with, they're all turning their back on this person. So definitely karma is hitting them really, really hard. Because they didn't expect that. They feel like their friends will always be loyal and support them in this situation. And nobody's supporting them in this situation. Okay? What is this third party, angels? What is this third party? Wow. Oh. What is this third party, angels? So definitely somebody that was cheating, competing... Yeah, yeah. Could have been a Queen of Cups in reverse, someone that went cold on them. That's the truth, okay? I feel like at this very moment, someone is letting go of someone, okay? Maybe they were holding on tight to this person or this person. 
this this person that's single now was holding on tight or your third or this third party was holding on tight to your person somebody's okay um holding tight to this person again there goes another third party situation again this was another third party or you could have been the third party scorpio in this connection but i feel like this person is oh. yeah somebody well um regardless of anything the towel came and messed it up because we do have the divine intervention so there was a definitely a breakup, a blowout. Something is happening in this person's life that you don't know what's going on. But I do see that now they're trying to rebuild their life again. Okay, this person could be single. All right. All right. They're trying to rebuild their life again. So let's see what is this. Uh, somebody went cold on them or this person went cold on them. I don't know. But there was definitely some type of breakup, some type of blowout here. And again, it had to do with friends. Um, damn, this is a lot of message today. So yeah, this, these friends that this person thought that they were loyal to them is giving them their back. They're talking behind their back. They are... This person could be um, healing themselves from a broken heart from this third party situation. There's a lot of shit going on with this person. What is the legal matter here in Juice? Yep, definitely some legal. There could be lawyers involved. Yes, there could be lawyers involved. We got the Queen of Swords and the Queen of of Swords and the Queen of the King and the Queen of Swords. So definitely some lawyers involved in here. Definitely some legal matters. They both breaking. They are both cutting themselves out. This could be an emperor, okay, a father figure or husband. They could have been um going to meet up at court. All right, because I see through three people here. So definitely I see the lawyers here. I see this person and this other person and the emperor. This could be the judge. All right. And I see that they are definitely consulting or doing something. This person's going to have to give up some money. Something about money. What is this, Angels? Yep. They're not happy. They're not happy. And it could be with the Queen of Cups in reverse. Or this person is not happy because they feel like they are not fulfilled. I feel like that once this person go through all of this, they want to go to the Queen of Cups. Because they feel like they miss you. Look. All right. The Queen of Cups, that's you, Scorpio. They miss you. They want to come back to you. There's something. The devil could be a Capricorn. Um, yeah, they, this person is going through a lot of shit right now in their life. Okay. They could be going through some legal matters. They could be going through some type of divorce. They're breaking up with this third party situation. The divine intervention is here. This person is going through some type of depression. Shit. What's the divine intervention? What did you do, Father? Definitely karma is hitting this person. Karma is hitting this person really, really bad. You don't see it, but they are going through karma. <clears throat> what? Nothing going on in their life. They are stressing, going through a lot of anxiety, a lot of break, a, a lot of chaos, a lot of um, drama. Okay, a lot of chaos, a lot of drama, a lot of she said, he said shit, a lot of uh, fighting, arguing. Okay, what a fortune is this person knows that this is not their destiny. All right, nothing is working out for them in this life. The Knight of Swords, this person is having anxiety. They're stressing really, really bad about this karma that's hitting them. Could be the devil, okay? So the devil could be doing some type of magic towards you, Scorpio. And they're receiving the freaking karma that they were trying to do to you. The devil was trying to do some black magic spell work or whatever it is that they wanted to do to block your money, Scorpio. They wanted to block your money in this situation, right? But now they're getting all this karma. Yep, my love, listen, this is you, baby. They wanted you to be stuck, not being able to have any money. They wanted you to, you know, block your money or your success or whatever it is that you was going through, Scorpio. They wanted you to feel stuck, betrayed, and... um. And not being able to move forward in the situation, right? The devil tried to do some black magic on you, right? This could be this person, or it could be their person. And now this person, everything backfired, and they're having the anxiety, and they're going through all this fucking mess that it's going through right now. What's the anxiety? Because calm is hitting. Father is giving this person their wrath. What's the anxiety? And someone is definitely having some type of bipolar, mental problem. This person could have mental disorders. Living out in the cold, yep. Yeah. Living out in the cold, 
okay? Having anxiety, feeling on the cold, not communicating, not being talked to. Uh, this person is being blocked from everybody, every friend, every third party, every competition that they had. Male, female, this person is alone. Nobody wants them. Nobody wants to talk to them. They want to let go of them. And this person is a crossroad right now. They are on a cross for wishing to have a new beginning, a new passion, a new beginning with you. Right? What else, angels? Give me another message. What's the anxiety? What is the two of ones? This person is a crossroad. They have no way to go. They have no sense of direction. All right? Now I feel like this person is wanting to give you some type of offer here. But, you no, know, you're moving forward, Scorpio. But this person, whoever they went to, they messed up their whole life. They messed up their whole life. Let's see these friends real quick. What is these friends? This person had a lot of friends. They could have had a lot of third parties, a lot of competition, and not everybody's giving this person their back. Oh. What is friends and use? Just for messing with you, Scorpio. Just for betraying you. <laughs> Father's like, oh, okay, you think you're going to have a good life? You could be a Sagittarius. Queen of Pentacles, this person could have been married to this person. This person's stupid weak. This person is stupid weak, right? They can't do shit. They feel like their hands are tied. They could be lazy right now. It could be a Sagittarius. Maybe they could be healing, right? Trying to get their self-balance again, okay? Because they lost this, this house or this family situation or they're going through a divorce here. And again, the Four Cups in reverse. Nobody wants this person's cup. Nobody wants this person's um, offer. Like this person is alone. Nobody wants them. They gave their back. All these third parties, this competition that this person had, everybody turned their back. They don't want to be friends with them. And this is the reason why this person is looking outside somewhere. See? And that's why they're single. Super single. Now this person is alone. Not single, but alone. And guarded. All right, let's go ahead and jump in and see what is what is in their thoughts. Mm. Mm. This person wishes not. Mm. Okay. This person is receiving karma, like little karma, like literally receiving karma. Wow. Uh, angels, what is the message here for Scorpio? I mean, not Scorpio, Scorpio person. Like, what is in their thoughts right now? Whether they're thinking in general what's happening with them? Four in, ones in reverse. What they want to? What they want to? High priestess in reverse. Okay. What's the action? What's the action? <laughs> the death in reverse. That's the action. The intention. The outcome. Okay. Hmm. So, eight of cups in reverse. Why do these cups are in reverse? Like, I don't so this person walked away from you. They made a decision to walk away from you, right, Scorpio? I feel like this person got got backstabbed. Anyways, and their thoughts right now is the full one. So shit crumble. This family, this divorce, this uh, this marriage that they were in, they were in a committed relationship. Also, the community sees this person as nothing now. So I feel like their friends, family, whatever, they just turned their back on them. Um, I feel like the, the relationship that they had, it crumbled, okay? Uh, it crumbled, okay? Also, what they're wanting is the high priestess in reverse. So I feel like this person um, wants to reveal this to you or they want to tell you this. Um, they want you to they want to tell you this because they've been hiding this for a long time. Now it's coming to the to the light. This is going to be exposed, okay? Whatever was it hitting in the in the dark, now it's coming to the light. Whatever they were hitting, now it's coming out. So the secret is out, okay? This is being exposed. They try to hide this, and now it's being exposed. 
the action is the death card in reverse so this person could have been going through a transformation okay this is you your card scorpio this person could be going through a transformation okay maybe they could have been ending the situation but they don't want to end this connection with you right the death card is they don't want to end this with you they don't the intention was the hierophant this could be like this person was married to this person that was the intention and they wanted to marry them and have a good relationship or but the problem is that this person and this person didn't really have the spiritual religions factor or they was not compatible with the same religious or belief system here so that's why it crumbled that's why it crumbled and the intention was um yeah they wanted a marriage they wanted a commitment with some you know with someone and they chose the wrong person so I feel like the outcome now is that they want a second chance with you, Scorpio. They want to make things right. All right. They realize that they miss your voice. They miss you. And we'll see my ears ringing. So what's the four wants and juice? What is in their thought right now? <laughs> stressing. This person is definitely stressing really, really hard. They can't sleep at night. All right. I feel like this person has mental Ill illness right now. Yeah, they stress him because they know that they break from you, Scorpio. Yeah, now they're thinking of coming in. Um, now they they thinking of coming in and trying to give you some type of um, offer here. They want to give and take relationship with you, but they know that they break from you. And I feel like now three of ones, they're looking in the future. They're looking outside to you. They feel like they missed an opportunity or they feel like, you know, now they have to start this journey with you. That's how they feel, right? Give me one more for the three of ones, angels, with the four of ones. So leaving something behind to be able to start taking this journey with you because the four of ones and the three of ones. Yeah, they're leaving this lover behind. Whoever this person was, they are leaving them behind. And that's the reason why they got the three ones. Okay? They're healing. They're trying to balance themselves out in this connection of the situation. All right? They know that they didn't have any passion. They were not in love with this person. They know that they was only obligated to be there just for financial stability or financial, um, what you call it, responsibility. They probably could have a child. I don't know. But this person... They didn't want this to come out. It wanted to be secret, but it blew up. It blew up in their face. The Queen of Pentacles. This could be their the husband or wife. What is the secret angels? What is being exposed? <clears throat> yeah, I feel like now they don't want this. Uh, they don't want to be a player no more. Okay, we got the Knight of Wands. Maybe this person was in and out of your life. They want to start a new passion, a new beginning with you, Scorpio. They feel like they have the passion and chemistry with you. And um, they feel like they, uh, yeah, they left They left this um, Queen of Wands. Or they're going to come and tell you this. Let's see. Yep. They're coming to bring some clarity. They're going to tell you the truth that they were, they were dealing with another and they broke up. They were dealing with this, uh, they were married or connected or in a relationship with this Queen of Pentacles. And um, now they just realize, you know, something came up to the surface. They realized that they don't want to be with them and that they don't want to be a player anymore with you because they realized that karma is hitting them real hard. A breakup, a separation, some type of destruction happened in their life. Okay, what's the what's the action they're gonna take with the death card reverse? So I feel like this person didn't want to change. They didn't want to go through the transformation. Now they have to go through the dark night of their soul. Is it easy? Hell no, it's not easy to go through the dark night of your soul. Huh. Ugh. So the page of pentacles here. Jeez. The ace of cups. Oh. And the queen of cups. The action, Scorpio, is that they're going to come and give you an offer. They want to give you an offer because they want to start this new beginning with you. You're the loving, caring, understanding person. You're the only one that understands this person. All right? They see. They see. Okay? Yeah, they're missing you. Okay? They could be in regret right now. Okay? They're missing you. And they feel like they've been missing an opportunity with you. Okay? What is the... um? They feel that they betrayed this connection or they self-sabotage this connection or this relationship. 
What's the intention, angels? Or they feel hurt that they hurt you? They lighten. They lighten about the situation. Yeah, father got this person on their knees. <laughs> father got this person on their knees. He got them on their back. He didn't have to use them physically. He could done it um, spiritually. Because this person is enlightened now. This person feels sacrificed. They feel sacrificed. They feel sacrificed, betrayed, uh, backstabbed, hurt. They, this person is in pain. Father got this person on their needs, okay? To come and make it right with you. To come and work in the situation with you because you do have judgment, Archangel Michael. Wow. Yep. One more, angels. What's, what's this Eight of Pentacles? What, what is this? Ooh, Father got this person on their knees, on their back. To make it right with you, because they're already enlightened. They know about the situation. This is the reason why Father stepped in. Yep. King of Wands in reverse. This could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, okay? Because this person was non-committal. They were playing games. They were playing, um, they were being um a player type. They're very lazy. They didn't want to take no time. They didn't want to take no uh, action. Okay. Now I feel like this person could be balancing out themselves. All right. I don't know, Scorpio could be a Sagittarius. So you could have Sagittarius in your chart too. So the outcome is judgment. What is judgment, angels? Oh, fuck. These cards are just popping out. Judgment. Oof. What a fortune. So this person is going to come back. They're going to want a second chance, Father saying. Okay, because they feel like you're their destiny. That you are their twin flame soulmate. This person is realizing that they've been called for this mission, this action, uh, to be with you. I know this is a lot, right? Hmm. Yep. And they're regretting the situation with you. Yep. Mm -hmm. There goes the emperor. All right. So I feel like this emperor is coming in. I feel like you cut this person out, Scorpio. You cut them out and you're still cold to them, okay? But I feel like this person is coming to come and talk to you, communicate, and tell you that they miss you, that they they regret. They regret for what, whatever they did to you. All right, the full in reverse. The reason why they couldn't take no leap of faith towards you is because they were going through some burdens. They were going through a lot of, you know, problems in their life, a lot of situation. But now they're trying to balance themselves out. Then this, this card keeps coming out, Archangel Gabriel. Um, <clears throat> Sagittarius, um, and this person is trying to balance themselves out. Look at that confirmation. This this person is trying to balance themselves out. Give me a minute, guys. So this person is trying to balance themselves out. Yeah, and um, and trying to and trying to um heal themselves. Okay, they're trying to heal themselves. So they're trying to be enlightened, and they're trying to like, you know, go through the dark night of the soul. Okay, I do see this person trying to, you know, heal themselves in a way that they know that they have to become better, a better person in the situation. So Father got this person like on their needs, but I feel like he got the they got the his foot on his neck. Whoever this is, Father got their foot on their on their neck, and. Unfortunately, there's nothing they could do because it's like a lot of shit happening on this person's life. All right. Let's see what this person would like to say to you. What is message? What would they like to say? I'm drowning in my emotions. I'm so sad. Oh, yeah, we know that. I need you in my life. I don't want to lose you. Yeah, that's. I feel the same. It's because this person knows that they made a mistake. They chose wrong. For some of you guys, right? Oh, fuck. The card is just flying. The karmic is jealous because I told her I was in love with you. Mm -hmm. 
So the comic is jealous because you told like, this person told them that they were in love with you. But I think that this is the reason why this person is going through a divorce. They understand the disconnection. You were the best thing that appeared in my life. You are the best thing that appeared in, in their life. This could be a cancer as well. This person has cancer, Sagittarius, and Capricorn in their chart. That's what I see. The karmic has been put in black magic on me. Yeah. Yeah, but you know that. What else, Angels? Because I feel like this person also deals with dark divination as well. Your eyes drive me crazy. You have Egyptian goddess eyes. Okay. What else? November. Of course, Scorpio. That's you. This person could have been an energy vampire, okay? This person could have been an energy vampire or the person that they were dealing with could have been an energy vampire. I have a shady life. Would you forgive me if I tell you? And I'm regretting my past life mistake with you. I feel my soul has been waiting for you. I feel like the 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 shady past or the, the shady life is that this person could have been, um, I don't know, doing some energy vampires, okay? That's what I feel. So maybe this person is awakening to know that they were a bad person. Or they could have been doing bad things to other people. But now karma is catching up to them. Karma is catching up to them because this person is alone. This person is lonely. Nobody wants this person. Everybody's turned their back on them. Even the, 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 even the options that they have, they turn their back on them. Or they're about to because father's not playing with this person. Okay? Um, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I love you.